Hey guys, Kev here. <clears throat> and I wanted to briefly talk about uh, my new knife design with Colin, the Debo Knives Buzz. So you guys may have seen the uh, prototype unboxing or disassembly. I'm not sure what's up so far. I like to always do um, an unboxing if I can of the prototypes and then do a disassembly and then do a uh, first impression sort of video. And that's kind of where we're at here. I got these yesterday. Um, you know, I, I got into them a bit, checked all four of them out, uh, took apart a couple of them. I actually put skiffs in this one and the other satin one and left the two black washed ones stock. Um, <clears throat> and it, there's definitely some things that we wanna, we wanna update, we wanna change. And that's kind of why you get prototypes, but I would honestly be, I would be proud to sell you this knife right now. Um, that's how I feel about this. And that for me personally is a huge step. Um, getting a prototype in hand, first moment being like, yes, I would sell this. Um, for me, makes me very happy because, um, it, it, it takes a lot of time and effort to both design and and and, and tweak and, and and then wait and then you have to wait so long you know like four months for these to get made most of the time and then you get it and you're just hoping it's right you know and luckily uh you know for colin and i we are like three for four <laughs> on uh prototypes coming out well we also uh used multiple oems on a couple of them to ensure we were three for four um the one that did not come out perfect was the mash from kubi and they're working on a revision and we have another company cmb knives working on that one as well so that'll be coming again but um yeah i love this knife um this was one that Colin uh, pulled out of his uh, book. I don't know how it came to be. We'll have to ask Colin that more directly. But I remember he sent me a rendering of this knife and was like, hey, this is one I'm working on. I think it'd be good for Devo. What do you think? And um, it, it went from there. I'm not even sure it had the front flipper. I know we changed it to a wheel sort of front flipper uh, because he sent me this right around the time that his knife, the hide, came out with Kubi. And I remember just falling in love with that wheel front flipper because you could do the reach around on it, but you still had the ability to climb up the front and pop it like a front flipper. And that just intrigued me and I thought it looked cool. So we went and added that to the design. And then of course we did the wire clip uh, and made it reversible. I'm not sure if it was a frame lock originally, but we made it an inset liner lock, titanium liners with a steel insert to make sure uh, lefties had all the, you know, access to it. Everything but the lock being left-handed is lefty friendly on this knife. And that's super important to me, which makes it super important to us as a company um, because we want lefties involved, right? Uh, but anyway, Colin had a, a beautiful, beautiful design off the bat. So I just want to make sure that I emphasize a, a lot of the design credit needs to go to Colin here. Um, I'm not trying to soak up credit for things that, that I had nothing to do with. Um, I definitely, you know, helped dial this in, tweak it, adjust it. We added things, removed things, changed things, all of that. But the initial sketch and, and everything was Colin. Um, so anyway. Uh, it's absolutely wonderful. This this hollow grind is fantastic. The black wash ones have a shallow hollow grind. I confirmed that with Best Tech. So they will have this deeper hollow grind in production. These will have the grind from the black wash ones. You can see how the grind kind of hides behind the frame a little bit here. That will be pulled out in production. Uh, we're going to make sure the plunge grind is behind that edge termination. We're gonna add a little bit of lock bar access. It's good, it's fine, but I personally uh, feel like it needs just a little bit more, so we're gonna do that. Uh, the clip needs to be updated to take Lynch replacement clips and Rips Garage Tech clips. Right now it's a little too wide. Um, 
so those are some of the changes i'm sure i'm missing some oh the hardware so the clip screws are t6 because they didn't have t8 clip screws and the pivot is t8 because they didn't have t10 so we're either going to do t10 and then make sure everything else is t8 or we'll just do all t8 uh, the screws for the insert are t6 i'll find out if we can do that in t8 but it might just be a thing where you can't you have to do t6 which it's going to be rare that you need to swap that out uh, we do plan to provide an extra insert with the knife um, but that might be a t6 just out of you know necessity um there is a sort of uh it's hard to see but like there's almost like this micro pattern on the uh titanium if you catch it in the right light looks really good the bead blasting is done really well the clip screws sit flush the thickness is perfect in hand it's got slight contouring so at just over half an inch with the contouring, it feels really good in the hand. Uh, size wise, you know, 3.3 inch blade, you're gonna have about 7.6 overall. I can get with a large glove size hand, I can get a full grip back here very comfortably, but obviously I'm looking at climbing up here into this beautiful 50-50 choil, that's kind of our thing. Um, the whole shape is perfect for the reverse flick. I mean, it just catches so well. Uh, and pops it's really good in my opinion the scallop kind of sends you right to the top of the hole which is where you want to be and pops you out um, and then you know disengaging right-handed again it, the scallop kind of just sends you man, I can't get an angle the scallop just kind of sends your thumb right to the spot where you want to go to disengage it and have it come down um, it cuts like a freaking dream. I mean, this hollow grind is wonderful. It's thin behind the edge. Um, you have that beautiful uh, sheep's footy tip so you can get down into shipping labels, opening packages, utility cutting, um, a lot of straight edge. I mean, it is a warning essentially, I guess. Um, the front flipper, I'm loving it. I mean, yeah, you don't really wanna wheel it from down here like you can if you try hard enough. You can wheel it from down there. I would tend to go up here and do the Bic lighter flip, just a little easier for me. And then you can grab right here with the index flick. Now, uh, the black wash ones are a little harder to do that with. I don't know if it's because the detents are a little stronger, they are, or if it's because they're black wash, they got knocked down a little bit on the jimping. So that's something we'll pay attention to uh, in production, but I'm really happy with this knife. Um, honestly, I'm kind of blown away with what Best Tech did here. This, I'll, this is what I told Colin when I first saw them show us the final prototypes. I said, they did it. Like, this is the first time since we've started Devo Knives. And we've gotten prototypes from one, two, three, four, like four companies, maybe five. Um, right, QSP, Best Tech, Shielden, Kunwu, and Kubi. Yeah, five companies we've already had prototypes delivered from. This is the first one where they they literally created our rendering. So we love the stout. The stout came out fantastic. But if you look at our original rendering we posted the the final product doesn't look like that right it, it's the same design but it doesn't have the little details and everything best tech literally just like it jumped off the page and into reality um and to me that's the most satisfying thing about it is because usually you get them and you're like uh, you know you're happy but you're like it's not exactly what we wanted right like we wanted that rendering because colin is so fucking good at graphic design that i see the rendering and that's what's in my head right that's what i want the knife to be and it comes and you're like it's good but it, it's not that like look at it this way colin's renderings are like riot fucking design right riot production that's how good his renderings are. <clears throat> so you get a knife from another company that's not Riot, that doesn't quite get to the level of Riot. Again, still fantastic. Just not that, you know, echelon. 
Um, and it's like, eh, you know, and then you gotta, you just adjust to it and it's whatever. Um, but these are on point with the rendering. I mean, you could probably see the renderings online and then look at the design and look at the prototype and boom, they fucking crushed it. So anyway, I just wanted to give Best Tech a shout out. Now, there are some things that they, you know, didn't do right and we have to adjust, but that's why you do prototypes and everything. Um, so we're really excited about this. Um, the pre-order, I will, we'll start announcing it when it comes up. It's probably going to be in October sometime. Um, we have to make sure we deliver all of the stouts. Um, and we have Blade Show. We have some stouts left over to sell. We have to pass these around so that, um, you know, we can get some reviews out there, get some hype going. Um, and then we also have the Growler project coming in in October. So it's going to be sometime in October, I think. Um, so get ready if you really want one of these, which I hope you do. Uh, they're going to be hopefully right around 300 bucks. We're doing our best to keep the price down. Um, best tech is more expensive than QSP. I just want to put that out there. Um, so we're getting charged more. And that was before we even asked about packaging and extra hardware. So, you know, we're going to do our absolute best to keep the price around 300 or less if we can. Uh, that's our goal. But we'll see what happens and uh, we'll keep you guys updated. I apologize for all the videos about this, but it's kind of how it goes when I get a new prototype in. Um, I'm going to film video on it because that's what I'm carrying, right? Uh, I, I'm i stoked on this. I hope you are. I would love your feedback in the comments. Uh, shout out to Colin. Absolutely fantastic partner on Devo Knives and uh, fantastic knife designer as well. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.